This couple of days we hear a lot of good news about Tesla Giga Berlin because it has improved the quality, it has doubled the production and things are going even well. But did you know that two several weeks ago Tesla had to make a very drastic decision about Giga Berlin to speed up the pace for each workstation. Before the two week break the Brandenburg Giga Factory Berlin basically managed to finish only 1000 units per week. 1000 electric Model Y crossovers per week. An acceptable production volume indeed but far from the company's estimates. To improve the pace a drastic decision was made by Tesla at Giga Berlin to stop the activities called Turkey and modify the production lines in order to speed up the pace for each workstation and industrial environments. Less time normally means more production. The result in this case is obvious as the plant has just declared that they are now capable of producing about 2000 electric vehicle units of Tesla Model Y performance per week doubling previous numbers. Welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. I'm about to tell you a very interesting story and if you find it helpful please like this video. When you like the video it helps to put it in front of more people and you help to speed up the transition of electric vehicles by notifying other people. So after undergoing a small renovation just a few weeks ago the Tesla Giga Berlin Brandenburg factory has doubled its output in just a few days. 2000 electric vehicles a week that bring the plant closer to its production target. Tesla has been very active this whole year as regarding manufacturing. Even though the year 2021 ended with record numbers the Austin company actually expected more. The goal of 1 million electric vehicles per year was just a few thousand vehicles away. But this year it is clearly within reach. Even far more. Deliveries are coming quickly thanks to improvements in productivity at the plant including the Giga Berlin Giga Factory which has almost doubled manufacturing figures after recent key renovations to the facility. A sharp increase that basically means doubling the volume of work. I'm surprised, I'm wondering how could Giga Berlin after that renovation which I'm about to tell you more in detail quickly double the production. I mean it didn't take months to double but only few weeks. So last March was the busiest ever for Tesla so far in terms of Gigafactory openings. Just a couple of weeks apart Elon Musk opened the Berlin and Austin plants, Gigafactory Austin and Gigafactory Berlin, the Texas plant becoming the company's official headquarters and one of its main nerve centers. Despite the very recent opening of both Gigafactories, the Berlin Gigafactory underwent a small but interesting renovation. Just opening now, recently, and then quickly going to a small but interesting renovation just a few weeks ago, after closing the assembly line of the European Tesla Model Y planned for a little Y, the reopening could not have been more spectacular. Look at this. Before that two-week break, the Giga Berlin factory basically managed to finish 1000 electric vehicles per week, which is an acceptable production volume indeed for Tesla, but it's far from Tesla's uh, company estimates. So to improve the pace, to speed up the production at Giga Berlin of Model Y vehicles, Tesla made a drastic decision. A drastic decision was made to stop all the activities called Turkey and modify the production lines at Giga Berlin in order to speed up the pace for each workstation. Not to make general improvements, not to make general observations and making improvements here and there, but to work on each station to speed up the pace for each workstation. This is why recently when a couple of investors, a group of investors went to Tesla and, and they toured the Giga factory. I've reported about that. You probably heard me saying about that. And uh, they even took the Model Y performance on a test drive on German Autobahn, which some places doesn't have a speed limit. And they were surprised, not saying no, it's not a premium vehicle, but it's a luxury vehicle. Anyway, after all of that, they said that certain parts of Giga Berlin are ready to make 10,000 electric Model Ys per week. 10,000 a week. That means this work to speed up the pace for each workstation has indeed been successful. And Tesla at some places is able to make 10,000 which will bring it to the goal of 520,000 vehicles per, um, per year. 
which is the announced and estimated capacity of Giga Berlin. So in industrial environments, friends, less time normally means more production. If it takes you less time to produce a car, that means you have more production. I'm going to make you bring you some comparisons. So the result in this case is obvious as the Giga Berlin plant has just declared that uh, Tesla is now capable of producing 2000 electric vehicles, 2000 units of Tesla Model Y performance per week at Giga Berlin, doubling previous numbers. I mean, I'm sitting here and thinking, what type of innovation can someone do at each workstation not to improve it by 20%, 30%, 50%, 60%, but to double the production of that workstation? So as expected, the whole thing will not actually stop there. Tesla hopes to further increase the rate and volume of car produced at factory at Giga Berlin. For the coming fall 2022, about 3,000 electric Model Y vehicles per week are being estimated to be built at Giga Berlin. In order to achieve this, the company not only hopes to be more productive per factory, but also in terms of each workforce, each workstation. Over the next few months, the introduction of a third work shift is expected, as many different sources have already published, including uh, Jörg Steinbach, which has published a very good interview in uh, German Bundestag magazine, which I have reported on. So the Giga Berlin plant is currently operational between 6.30 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. The new shift will be introduced um, uh, in before December could uh, would cover night hours, keeping the factory open 24 uh, 24 seven full time basis operating and building electric cars. Now, it should be noted that only the most expensive and high performance models of the Model Y Tesla Model Y come from Giga Berlin plant. A model that has already surpassed its brother, the Tesla Model 3, is overall sales um, fig in overall sales figure. Uh, the, it, it has passed the Tesla Model 3. The production of the long-range Model Ys is carried out in Giga Shanghai in China, from where they are imp imported. In the coming months, the access version of the model will enter the European scene. The basic Model Y will be positioned as the most affordable model for the family. It will be starting at about 51,200 euros in Germany without local and government financial aid for an approved range of 280 miles, which is 455 kilometers in WLTP cycle. You know, these days people are expecting probably more, like probably uh, 300 miles or so. I don't know, but uh, things... Uh, uh, are going really well at Giga Berlin and uh, the 4680 structural battery pack I have updated on that too. The analysts uh, who have last week um, visited Giga Berlin, they said they concluded that the front casting at Giga Berlin is ready to go and only awaits the availability of structural battery pack and the 4680 cell. Uh, the analysts wrote that the battery production building looked well advanced as I've reported many times that the cell building, the battery production building at Giga Factory which is expected to be the largest battery production in the world, is almost ready. Based on those observations and ongoing dialogue with the company over several months, uh, some firms expect to see 4680 battery cells produced in Giga Berlin, in Model Ys in Berlin, in a matter of months or quarters at most. So please subscribe to this channel and uh, stay with us. Uh, come back often because I'm going to keep my finger on the pulse of that development and bring you as soon as uh, Giga Berlin starts producing the 4680 battery cells. In the meantime, please like this video if you found the information helpful. Every time you like my videos, friends, you help to put it in front of more people on YouTube. And uh, as a result, more people will be informed about electric cars, about Tesla, and watch them. And hopefully you will help to speed up the transition to electrification. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Like this video. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And I look forward to hearing your comments about Tesla's decision to go cold turkey to stop the production and double the production rate at each workstation at Giga Berlin. See you soon in our next report. I have lots of interesting stories lined up for today, and um, including one about uh, Giga Texas production or storage of 4680 batteries. I have very interesting uh, footage that I want to show with you. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.